Mexico grapes are separated into two categories, aromatic and non-aromatic. By the end of this lesson, you will have a firm understanding of the characteristics of each grape variety. Please note that these are general descriptions as every Pisco is different depending on the region, the terroir of the vineyards, and the methods of the distiller. We won't cover the origins of the grapes and the regions where they are grown in this lesson, but we will in the future, so stay tuned. The four aromatic grapes are Albia, Torontel, Italia, and Moscatel. The four non-aromatic grapes are Quebranta, Ubina, Moyar, and Negra Criolla. But before we explore each variety, first let's talk about the two categories of Pisco grapes, aromatic and non-aromatic. While the latter categorization might imply that some Piscos lack aromas, I would like to clarify that all varieties of Peruvian Pisco have very expressive aromas. This often creates confusion for people not familiar with Peruvian Pisco. They understandably expect a non-aromatic Pisco to not have any aromas. All the Peruvian Pisco grapes have highly aromatic qualities because of the production methods required by the denomination of origin in Peru. First, the single distillation method helps bring out the unique aromatic profile of each grape variety. Then, resting in neutral casks enhances aromas while preserving the Pisco's original identity. This is different than spirits that age in barrels, whose flavors and aromas are altered by wood. Now, let's discuss each of the eight Pisco grapes. You will be quizzed on the pronunciations of each of these grapes after this lesson, so be sure to pay attention. The most common grape used in Pisco production in Peru is Quebranta, that is pronounced Quebranta. It is Peru's only indigenous vinifera variety. It is a cross between Moyar and Negra Criolla grapes. Many acholados in Peru use Quebranta grapes for their blends, including Pisco Logia's acholado. Pisco Logia's acholado is represented by the green label. The red label represents our puro de Quebranta. The next non-aromatic grape is Ubina. Ubina. This variety is restricted to the Cañete province only, so you will only find Ubina grapes in Lunawana, Pacaran, and Zuniga. They are circled on the screen in red. You probably won't forget Ubina. It is so unique because of its green olive nuances. Then we have Moyar, Moyar, which is very similar to the Quebranta grape. It is also known as Lista Negro. On the island of Lanzarote, Spain, Lista Negro vines are planted in hollow pits dug into the volcanic soils. Stone walls are then built around the vines to shelter them from strong Atlantic winds. And you can see that represented here on your slide. Finally, last but not least in the non-aromatic category, you have Negra Criolla. That's Negra Criolla, also known as Listan Prieto. You have heard about this variety several times already because it was the first variety to be planted in Peru. The Listan Prieto variety was originally from the Castilla-La Mancha region in Spain, which is the central region associated with windmills and Don Quixote. Moving on to the aromatic grapes, the Italia, Italia variety, is a prevalent white grape found in Peru. It is a seeded white table grape that was created in 1911 by Luigi and Alberto Pirovano in Lombardy, Italy. With the capital of Milan, Lombardy is the most populous and most productive region in Italy. Next we have Moscatel. Moscatel. There is dispute about the origins of Peruvian Moscatel grapes, but we will address the origins in Lesson 9. Moscatel is the one grape used in Singani, Chilean Pisco, and Peruvian Pisco. Muscat grapes are considered ancient vines, and wine experts believe they are one of the oldest genetically unmodified vines still in existence dating back to the ancient Egyptians and Persians. The third grape in the aromatic category is Torontel. That's pronounced Torontel, also known as Torrontes. It is a white grape variety, mostly produced and known in Argentine wine, but it is also a beloved Pisco grape in Peru. We are growing Torontel vines in Aspitia, and we will soon be blending them into an acholado for Piscologia. Finally, you have Albilla, also known as Albilla Real, Albia is used to make Spanish white wine, and Pisco, of course. Albia is commonly associated with the Ribera del Duero region in Spain, where winemaking goes back over 2,000 years. This is evidenced by the 66-meter mosaic of Bacchus, the god of wine, that was unearthed recently at Baños de Valdearados in Burgos, Spain. Now you know about the eight Pisco grapes used in the production of Peruvian Pisco. You get to practice your knowledge and pronunciation in the activities for Lesson 7, which you must complete 
before moving on to Lesson 8. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you.